Okay, who else? Yeah. All I, I, I'm not I'm not gonna talk long. Uh Teddy asked me to come up here and just share uh, a little bit with the guys in this basketball league. For those of you that don't know me, I'll give you a quick introduction. My name is Larry McKenzie. Coach McKenzie. I coached nine years at Minneapolis Patrick uh, Henry High School. Last five one year in the ABA, last five years at Academy Holy Angels. I recently took the uh, Minneapolis North job. Um I think I've done a pretty decent job in my coaching career. I'm the only coach in the 101 year history of Minnesota State basketball to ever win four consecutive state titles. including my son, Lawrence McKenzie, who was the only kid in the 101 year history of Minnesota State basketball to play on fourth consecutive state title. Uh, so, uh, so father and son, my both of my kids, I'm a parent of, of two kids. My daughter played Division One basketball. My son played two years at Oklahoma uh, with Langar Langar uh, and two years at the University of Minnesota. So, Played overseas, played in the D League. So Teddy asked me to come and just share a little bit. How many high school basketball players I have here? How many high school basketball players? All right. And then we just got some folks. Any college basketball players? All right. All right. So we got a few people. So I'm not going to talk long. He asked me to share a little bit. And, and I don't want to yell, but uh, also last year, this time, uh, I'm also an author of a book called Basketball So Much More Than a Game. Uh, we've been blessed to sell about 6,000 copies all around, all around the world. Uh, and then I have another book coming out in about a month called Every Winner Needs a Coach. But what I want to do today is talk a little bit about, so now that you've heard the commercial, talk about basketball. And the, the, one of the things, the beauty of seeing this is, as I drive around Minneapolis, uh, outdoor basketball is a lost art. So you don't see that much, kids playing outdoor basketball. So what I want to do, I'm going to quickly, I'm going to give you about 15, 20 minutes of why basketball is so much more than a game. And I wrote the book because I wanted to share the lessons that I learned from the game. So the first thing, the first thing that all of you guys have to know, high school, if you're playing college, that this game is a business. It's a business at every level. It's about making money. And the reason that is, most of you guys out here, you're wearing the Nikes, you're wearing the Adidas, you're wearing, uh, I mean, whatever the brand. It's about, it's about making money. It's about making money. And because it's about making money, there's two things that happens in this game. There's two things that happen in this game. And probably some of you have already been a victim. This game, you either use the game or the game uses you. It, it's more addicting than, this, this, this game is more addicting than cocaine or crack. And it uses a lot of people. It uses a lot of people. Because it's a business. And so it's a business because that's why CBS paid $10 billion. $10 billion to broadcast the, the uh, March Madness. It's a business at every level. If you are fortunate enough to get a scholarship, at a minimum, at a minimum, if you get somebody to pay for you to go to college, at a minimum, it's a $10,000 investment. So four years, $40,000. We calculated. We calculated the investment that the University of Minnesota made in my son in two years. It came to roughly about $1.2 million. It's a business. And if you know anything about business, some of you may have heard this before. If not, I'm going to share it with you for the first time. When you're a businessman, the bottom line is ROI. Anybody know what ROI means? Any business people here ever heard of ROI? Return on your investment. When you have a business, the bottom line is you want to return on your investment. You want to return on your investment. So if you can't help me win, if you can't help me put uh, uh, fans in the stands, if you can't help me sell tickets, then you can't help me. Amen. And then the game will use you. 
or you can use against you. You need to understand that it's a business. So that is the B in basketball. The A is about most of us. Most of us only take time to thank people or think about thanks is around Thanksgiving. The A is about learning to appreciate the people in your life. I lost my dad four years ago. And I think about all the, all the sacrifices that he made for me to have the opportunities that I had. I grew up in the worst projects in Miami, Florida. And when I was some of you guys' age, I was told that I would never be anything or anybody or, or, in, or do anything. And so when I go back now, I just say, look at me now. But we got to take time to appreciate the people in our lives. For my high school kids, if you don't hear anything else that I say today, the S, if you are not if you are not a student athlete, if you are not a student athlete, you're wasting your time. And I can't tell you, I mean, you probably got so many guys out here. I hear the stories all the time. I don't care what neighborhood you go to in America. If you look like me, everybody's got an uncle, or if you don't, you will have an uncle who will tell you they, will be in, they should have been in the NBA, but they hurt their knee. But what they didn't tell you, that they didn't go to class. That they didn't take care of in the classroom. If you're not a student athlete, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. And if you look like me, and you don't have at least a 3.0, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You must be a student athlete. You must be a student athlete. That means, uh, you know, you, you can't go to class. And again, the other thing about the business, when Lawrence went to Oklahoma, when Longa went to Oklahoma, they spent $1,500 doing a background check because your character come into play. So if you one of those guys that you want to be class high and do all of those kind of things, you're wasting your time. And this game will use you and you will spend your career, what's the name of this park? East Park. At East Park. <laughs> you will spend your career here at East Park. You're wasting your time. And again, choice. One of the things that I've learned, and I try to tell the young men that I coach, Life is about two things, choices or chance. And most of you all, instead of making the right choices, you decide to take chances. And if you take a chance in the classroom, this game will use you. All right, so the S, being a student, uh, is about being a student athlete. E is about enjoying the moment, living life to the fullest. And I'll tell, again, young guys, old guys, don't be in a hurry to get to things that you don't know about. But the older you get, life comes with responsibilities. So if you're in a situation where you got a roof over your head and you get three squares every day and I'm not talking, and you ain't locked up, <laughs> you should be very, very appreciative. Enjoy, enjoy the moment. The T, the T is about being teachable slash coachable. And if you are not teachable, and what is teachable? Teachable means that you gotta be, if the glass here, if the bottle is full and I can't put anything in, you're wasting your time. You gotta allow, you gotta be coachable. And coachable ain't just about playing basketball. It's about being in the classroom. It's about, it's about listening to your parents at home. It's about listening to those responsible adults. You have to be teachable. And I tell everybody, anybody here ever heard of Michael Jordan? Yeah, we all. I probably the greatest player ever played the game, but if you do the research, make the players around him better. He didn't become who he is now. You gotta be coachable. You gotta be open. One of the things that I try to do literally is learn something new every day. Every day, a new word, a new experience, a new something. But you gotta be teachable. And if you know everything. If you know everything, they, they got a spot for you right down the road. It's called prison. It's called prison. They got a spot for you right down the road. You got to be teachable slash coachable. The next B is about believing in yourself. It's about believing in yourself. One of the things I like to do when I go and talk a little bit, I like to take a, take a little survey. What's your name, my man? TJ, who's your biggest supporter, your biggest cheerleader? Your dad, my man right here. What's your name? O'Shea. Who's your biggest chili? That's little mouse. Your mom. Your brother. What's your name, my man? 
CJ and TJ, what's your name? Who's your, who's your biggest chili? All right, so if I was giving away the million dollars a day, I'd hit the gong button and say, Bob, you got to be your biggest cheerleader. Your mom, your dad, your grandmama, your auntie's got to be number two. But if you don't believe in you, nobody else can believe in you. You got to be your biggest cheerleader. You got to learn to believe in you. Everybody loves to win. I can tell you that. People get on the bandwagon when you win. But if you don't believe in you, I can't believe in you. I tell my guys all the time, they, I walk, I'm on the bench. I take them out, they walk by, they say, I can't throw the ball in the ocean. At the end of the night, they come to the locker room, coach, why I didn't go back in the game? Because you couldn't throw a ball in the ocean. <laughs> if you said, if you didn't think you could throw the ball in the basket, I can't believe you could throw the ball in the basket. You got to be your biggest chili. You got to believe in you. And if, if it hasn't happened at some point in your life, somebody will tell you that your hair is not the right texture. That you don't, you don't, your skin color is the wrong skin color. That you're too short, you may be too tall, you may be too slow, but if you don't believe in you, nobody else will believe in you. The A, your attitude determines your altitude. Your attitude determines your altitude, and that's one of those cliches you, you may, you may have heard before. Every morning before I walk out of my house, I do what I call an attitude check. And my attitude check is a creed that I teach every player who's played for me. They learn it, we do it before every practice, we do it before every game. And the blessing of this is, it, it started off with a, a group of 12 guys who are now coaching, making a difference, and they've shared it all over the country, uh, some of every play. So every morning, before I walk out of my door, I start my day like this. This is the beginning of a new day. God has given me this day to use as I will. I can waste it, or I can use it for good. But what I do today is important. Your real friends tell you the truth, and the truth hurts sometimes. You gotta learn to love to live. And then lastly, I close by simply saying, live to love. I believe that all of us, the reason that I'm here today is because of an opportunity, not because I'm getting a dime, but it's an opportunity to share into somebody's life. One of the things that I know that I love, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are afraid it is not the light, but the it's not the darkness, but the light that frightens us. Most of us are scared to be all that we can be. When we live to love, each one of us have a responsibility to leave this earth a much better place than we found it. That is your responsibility. So when you, live, when you love to live and you live to love, it's about trying to make a difference. It's about trying to make a difference. You have that responsibility, all right? And, 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 and when you have that responsibility, you don't let people tell you to do the wrong thing when you know how to do the right thing. So over the years, I've been around this game for a long time. I was blessed. I had an uncle that played in the NBA. I've, I've played college basketball. I've coached professional basketball. This game, in the end, you can either use the game or the game will use you. But basketball is really so much more than just the game. Thank you. Thank you.